not too much of a surprise. And in fact, recent data out of China is more on, on the negative side. So what we do expect to see is the PBOC and the regulators really coming in to support growth, to once again provide that level of stability. So stimulus both from a monetary and fiscal perspective is expected to be announced, especially as we go into the second half of the year. As we look at some of the tech plays, of course, uh, every now and again we get uh, some regulator comments and uh, they go into overdrive and uh, the shares getting under, put under pressure. Uh, what do you make of this latest uh, Baidu addition to the SEC list? Uh, the U.S. is not going to let go of this. No, this is a continuous situation that we have been seeing over the past couple of years from this regulatory perspective between uh, both the US and, and China. So when we look at the fundamentals, I mean, that's, that's obviously key, and it's sentiment that's really driving these stocks. So last year, with all the regulatory news flow, in fact, even in, uh, towards the end of, of 2020, that, that headline news flow was a bit of a wake-up call for investors, again, to realize that policy direction and implementation does impact underlying earnings. We do think that the subsequent news flow that we have seen and are likely to see will just be again focusing on on sort of about you know re, really delving into that top down news flow and providing more information. But as you mentioned, until we get more clarity around the situation, it's likely that we're going to see some choppiness with these type type of names. So we'll see choppiness, uh, but then also there are uh, some sectors that are showing outperformance, in particular when it comes to their report cards. Uh, the mainland banks, uh, they've done quite nicely. The Hong Kong listed shares also outperforming year to date. Uh, the mainland oil plays also looking very, very good and strong. Are there some pockets of strength there? What are you seeing? Definitely. And when it comes to China, when we saw that rally that we did see in 2020 and 2019, and it was very momentum driven. It really was a few sectors and, and stocks within those sectors that were really driving those strong returns that the Chinese equities markets uh, did report. And then obviously we started seeing this rotation from growth into value last year. This trend continues. But what's worth highlighting is last year, the outperformance of the value names was really a result of most of those well-loved growth names being derated. And as you highlighted with the banks and, and their earnings and reporting, we're likely to see the second stage of the value sort of rally really being underpinned by these value orientated names or out of favor names previously really getting re-rated re because of the earnings and beating expectations.